Welcome everyone you were listening to and perhaps you're watching Colin Yago. I'm your host, Pius Delores. I am joined by Stefano. I am joined I by Simon Nashville. Hello. I am joined, of course, by our producer, the Eagle at Master Control. Uh, and I our television is like up. We now see hey! ourselves. So I'm wearing a crown. Look at that. I looked so much taller than... Oh, no! <laughs> you shrunk me! I look so close to everybody. Hello. Yeah. My hair is a disaster. Yes. Wow. Your hair is all... That's the best. You should, you should see someone about that. You should see someone about no, that. No, I won't. Like, uh, <laughs> like my a barber's had it. It got so much worse. You I know what, guy? It, it really did. I told you. Yeah. I told you, go bald. You know what? That's the worst. I'm already... Okay, this fucking thing is the Good times. This is the quality content we're all here for. You know good what? times. I we're so here for good times. Did you guys see... Did you guys see... Um, it was a uh, Snoop Dogg concert. Okay. And uh, they had the they broke the world's record for the largest glass of gin, gin tonic, juice. gin juice, gin, gin juice, juice. Yes. Why would you drink gin tonic? That's the worst. <laughs> gin tonic's like pretty tonic. good. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like you don't like sugar, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, you you need to be an adult from like now. On. <laughs> That's true. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, why I ordain you an adult. First it's off, done. Jameson ginger ale is the shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, the best thing. That's not bad. That's not <sighs> bad. But uh, from now on, you're not Xander anymore. You're French vanilla. French vanilla. Someone someone once asked me. You know what? what? That might be offensive to people. I don't because I was I'm white I, and I'm not French. I was at a house party once and I, and I asked for a glass of whiskey. <laughs> and they're like, well, what do you mix it with? I was like, my finger. I don't know. <laughs> nah. alone. Why didn't you just say ice? No. Yes. I don't drink, I don't put ice. No. You do. I drink it with no. ice. Like Ego, you drink it with ice. Don't go there. No. Pretty sure you do. <laughs> We're again, I not two bucks on the fact that you do. <laughs> That's what 14 year olds drink. Wow. Um, apparently. Ice, ice with, uh, with whiskey? Yeah. <laughs> I, I may have lived a different childhood than you guys. But so I saw that and it got me thinking of like, <coughs> you ever have these moments where you're like, wow, that's colossally wasteful. And there's a lot of people who don't have stuff in this world. that like, we're wasting this on just like a concert prop. Like, what's a thing that's like lo- either largely inconvenient that really doesn't need to exist or something that really like doesn't, like it, it exists, but like literally shits on people who don't have. For example, toilet bowls have clean drinking water in them, right? Yes. So, like, we're literally shitting in the drinking water that half the world doesn't have. Oh, yeah, we know that for it's a long time. It's pretty terrible. It's pretty I, terrible. I also wash my driveway with, like, the water you could use yeah. to, you know, survive. Yeah. You don't use a broom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, like, yeah. So, throughout the show today, if you guys think of things uh, that are either largely inconvenient or things that are entirely wasteful, feel free to sprinkle them in. So, you know that big... Big ass like inflatables that people put in pools for parties. Yeah, that serves absolutely no purpose at all, except for using a petrol to create and ship across the world. Yeah, hundred percent. Pretty much. Um, how many of you have a toaster in your kitchen? I don't. What? You don't have a toaster? How don't no, you have a toaster? My oven. But what do you mean? In like my toaster. You don't do toasts? Hey, no, I don't because I can't eat <laughs> bread. But you used to before. Yeah. So you had a so toaster. You never you had a toaster oven or my oven before. Before my toaster oven, I just used my oven. Really? Yeah. So Simo, you have a toaster? Of course, bro. How long does it take to toast toast? Like three minutes. So it sits on your counter for 23 hours and 57 minutes doing nothing. Well, so does like both of my coffee makers. So what you're saying is you have a bunch of appliances you can easily put away and have more counter space. Of course. We've Why had fact? Like, I've had this discussion uh, like a few times already. The fact that we have two coffee makers by itself is a bit I have two coffee makers, but I have, I have an inordinate amount of counter yeah, space. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, y- yes, you do. I, I have a, <laughs> my kitchen is too large. You have more counter space than storage. Yeah, correct. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Well, so everything's is it a out. problem though? I mean, like it sounds like mm-hmm. something that's good. Yeah, like I, be- I have no counter space. But uh, do, you, do you have a space? Yes, I, I have a space guy. How do you think I got fat by? Sorry, not French Montana. Kitchen? Okay, it's not French Montana. Did you say French Montana? I can't hear people. Anyways. Yeah, this, this the headset mic's not working. Headset app's not working. Mine's working. Really? Yeah. I don't understand. Well, clearly Simone is. Oh, there we go. Just my volume was dull. There you ah, go. Okay, well, You're I back. don't know which one mine is. <coughs> which one is mine? So I'm dying. Um, <laughs> I uh, Allergies are affecting me. I apologize to everyone watching the there show. There you go. Okay, now uh, I hear myself. But Division E. Okay, let's talk about the only game that matters. Go for it. jean Key, baby. <laughs> Best defense in Division E. All right, how so? jean Key won again. I told you jean Key would finish first. 3-1. You guys all hate on jean Key. I don't. I don't hate on them. It's just they're going to yes, always need to win this way to win games. Yes. 2013. Shaggy like, doesn't score more than three times. I was like, I was looking at it. I was like, man, I'm having a pretty terrible season, Division E. And then I looked and, and, Sh- and Shaggy has thrown less touchdowns than me. 
All right, th- listen, they scored once 26 points. He has points. seven touchdowns and seven interceptions. No. Yes. <laughs> look let it me, up. Let me look it up. Fact. Yes, but he also missed the game. <laughs> he also missed the game. <laughs> Which makes him much worse. So if you put the other guy's stats with his, he's got 10 touchdowns, 9 picks, and 9 sacks. But see, the other guy is not him. <laughs> it's so much And it also doesn't matter because <laughs> it's, so it's much, about the same. It's not yeah. better. <laughs> <That's> not <laughs> he didn't I even play quarterback you. this game. I still have drunk you, man. He Great didn't guys. play quarterback this game. Yeah, he wasn't there. He missed the game. Oh, it was this game. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, and uh, are you surprised Summer Bird's unable to get the win against the backup quarterback? No, because Jackie's amazing. But <laughs> amazing, really. <laughs> this is all the analysis best I'm getting out of you all day. Best defense in Division D, bro. First off. I mean, wait, wait. But Knights are Division E, though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, they're the best defense in the history Knights. of FPF. No, in uh, defense. That's what I said. Today's the 75th uh, anniversary 75. of... 75th venture, uh, anniversary of... Uh, Normandy D Day. Oh, yeah. so the day that Germany got the D. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably. So got destroyed, defeated. <laughs> so <laughs> if Bun Knights were there, maybe we would all be Germans because best defense. It's true. <laughs> you ever think about that? <laughs> but which one, is of, a which one company, of our teams right? would the best defended the Nazis? <laughs> Sorry, you <laughs> Budweiser is a German company. Ooh. They're, no, they're not. Yes, they are. Yeah, but Bud Knights, I don't think they mean Budweiser. I think that Bud is a Budweiser. Budweiser is not a German. Bush. <laughs> pretty sure it's Bud Light. <laughs> they're owned by that uh, conglomerate group from Germany, aren't they? Conglomerate. No. I'm going to Google this now. Google yes, this, please, because you're wrong. Also, uh, also Bud, Bud Knights, I'm pretty sure it's not Budweiser Knights. It's Bud Light instead of Bud Light. Knights. But who do you think makes... No, no, but, but in Bud Knights, I'm pretty sure it's Buddy's Knights, not... Or no, I thought it was a reference to the Bud to the Bud Budweiser commercial that for Bud Light. No, I think it's pretty much. I I think it's the Dilly but, Dilly commercial. I'm pretty sure it's Butt Nights, but they couldn't go with the double T's, so they went. I Bud don't Nights. think so. Why would you think such a thing, Simo? Yeah, Yo, if Nights? anyone from Bud Nights is watching, please please correct this idiot. I am also incorrect. They're yeah. from St. Louis. <laughs> yes, very much, <laughs> the, very much the case. St. Louis, Germany. <laughs> this show's not about learning, no, so that's not, okay. It's not. That's all right, Eagle. Butt Nights. Um. But yeah, so that's the thing is that's when we see Zhang Yi, we know that that's uh, that's how they're gonna have to win games. Uh, but Knights, on the other hand, Matthew Kilgin's having a great season at quarterback, so uh, they've seen to turn the corner. But right now, Zhang Yi are where Bud Knights were a season ago, and that they need they need these grimy, disgusting, yep. boring, dude. But it works for them. Like, they, they don't play fast. Didn't throw a hundred yards. <laughs> I love this team. No, they, he did like, not. But they don't. They don't play fast. The game is very. Eagle, make up a stat about how many times teams have won a game by throwing less than 100 yards. 89. percent I can probably check Lost. this, but it's going to take a while. No, just make it up. Uh, 20 percent of the time. 20 percent of the time. <laughs> that's not a lot. That's one. That's in not five. a lot. So I feel like that's too way too high. <laughs> that yeah, I feel it's pretty high. high. So I would say the the reason why what, one of the reasons why Zhang <laughs> Yi is successful doing this is because first of all they, the game is very very slow so you, the other team doesn't get seven or eight possessions yeah right Zhang Yi's defense will get you a stop because their rush is very good and they're they're good defensive players they're going to be all right so if you if you give the other team four possessions they're going to stop them at least once most likely twice also yeah. right. their offense takes forever to get down the field yeah but that's the, it rolls that with like the whole that thing because if they decide to go fast and they give their team six or seven possessions then they're gonna allow 30, 30 points, points and yeah. these guys are not scoring 30 i've points. noticed that uh pacing really really throws teams off in division e so either when you run to store like like one thing i started doing recently was it was calling like in like as guys are heading back to huddle instead of huddling just calling out the routes and guys are getting to the line like there's never there's never a full huddle and defense are so and it, it it really it really and and I've noticed but the opposite thing too is, is, is like if you decide I'm gonna really slow it down I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna wait and then you basically watch the team set up it's like all right well that's their defense now I'll call my play and like that's just that's just the 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 you know division E it's te- teams are still learning they don't wait for you to break the huddle and exactly so um. That's one of the ways they, they've been success, successful for sure. Los Siete Amigos, Steph, you were there to see them beat down the Mountain there. Goats. Yeah. Um, impressions? Well, I mean, like, Mountain Goats are probably going to go 0 10. Like, yeah. Honestly. To be, and like, right, okay, honestly, so like, this is the time of the year where I tell that story. And it sucks for you guys because you guys have all heard it, but Mountain Goats are new. So uh, my can first season at FF. Can we song? Sorry? For story time? <coughs> Do we got story time for, with, uh, with Uncle Peace? I mean, maybe. We Figure have that imaging somewhere. Produce me a song. Produce a song. Jesus, it's a long. I'm waiting. Well, internet's slow. Hold on. Is it though? No, who else is slow? Our production. <laughs> That's true. Gather on the fire. Uncle Pizza is slow. Um, my first season of FPF. 
before I met any of you. Namely, Eagle. And my life has gotten much worse ever since. But all this white hair, by the way, I was a fresh-faced, fresh-faced 28-year-old when I first got the FPF. None of this existed. Uh, I looked like a very young man. No longer the case. My first season, we went 0-9-1. Punch Panda. Punch Panda. We had two NCAA athletes on the team. And when you think about that, when you think about the fact that the team was that talented and wasn't able to get a win, it just shows you FPF's tough. You're going to learn. You're going to take your lumps. You'll get better. I've never felt so motivational in my life. The song is the really music. helping. It's the song. It's really helping. It's, it's all the song. It's all Can the song. Can we just always, just always have the imaging for everything we say, Eagle? Now, cue a different song. But so, like, more fast. Get us. <laughs> get us. Get to us. Talk to us. See what works in FPF because that's the only way to improve. So, if you want to reach out to us, if you see any of us in the field, ask some questions. Eagle. This is a lot worse. No, no, I believe you done. and I discussed that we we're going to take an opportunity. Talk to Mountain Goats. Goats? <laughs> Goats? Mountain Goats? You got half there, right? Getting them to see the light. Week On six, the baby. We're going to hit Laval up 10 o'clock at night. We're going to come check out your game. We're going to tell you why you're bad. We're going to tell you how to get better. It's going to be all right. He seems really hyped for being a dick right now. What? Not bad. He's pretty hyped for being like very... It's, an, it's a song. Cool. It's a song. Yeah. It just gets you going. Honestly, music, man. I tell you. Music. That's all it is. That's all it is. I see now your story time. So here, tell, tell us about how dominant Los Siete Amigos were. How what? Tell us how dominant Los Siete Amigos were. You know what's funny about that is they didn't even have their two best players. So and Nick Lassard. Edward Arsenault and uh, Nick Lassard were not there. They played six all game. But like Mountain Goats, you know, they got to figure out uh, how to work together. Uh, Which they'll know after week six after in week Laval, six. 10 o'clock, when Eagle and I go see them give my I hand. see Eagles sounded better because of the music. I know. I know. Eagle, you ruined Pease's moment. You ruined you ruin my life. It's all your fault, Eagle. It's oh always God. your fault, Jay. Yeah, so uh, without their two <laughs> best players, they were still able to uh, shut down the offense that seems like it's non-existent right now for the Mountain Goat. Jesus. Yes. Uh, but uh, you know what? They just have to... Uh, uh, Sino has to uh, calm down, you know, try to stop forcing plays. Just take your time. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like if you slow things down... You'll probably be more successful. It's also the thing that most uh, new <laughs> FPF quarterbacks do. Well, honestly, it's also with they're young, right? Yeah. So, like, the young people, they always want to go big. What's it? But, like, first of all, they're always looking deep. And secondly, they're waiting for the routes to develop. So, the, the worst thing to do is, especially if you don't have a big arm, to throw the ball deep and late. So, if, you throw, if, you're, if you're going downfield. That field, is what he does. Like, Simone, like you're, you're an experienced quarterback. Hello. Yes. Ripping up Division C, which we'll talk about later tonight. Yes. Uh, doing, ripping up Division B somehow. Also. <laughs> with a random squad of people. Yes. Um, so you'll, you'll agree with me that if you want to go deep, that should be one of your first reads. Yes. Like you shouldn't <coughs> wait for the route to be completed. Wait on, for defender unless to get like somebody made a mistake and yeah. you have a guy doing jumping jacks to 40 yards down the field. Okay. Like, yeah. like we'll talk about uh, in Division C, C podcast. Yes. But realistically, w- what I told Mountain Goats before the season when I spoke to them, when they came in... They, they were new, they came in to pay to see it, and uh, we spoke to them briefly, saying, "Oh, they're new guys; they never played football before; they don't have any experience." So we told them the easiest way, because their defense isn't terrible, right? They're getting a few stops. They, they got a stop. They they got interception. Did they do the thing that all new teams do and just play man? Uh, they play they play some zones, but they're their the zones are broken and they're too far. Of apart. course, but they're good athletes and they're fast enough to sort of make yes. a play here and there. If you're able to get a stop per game, you're going to be somewhat competitive. The yeah. problem is if you have forty yards of offense, you're not going to win games. No, so. The the main issue with this team is well, sixty eight yards. You ran twice. They're they're trying to do that's better. Regular football things. Stop. You're not plays football. that they saw in Madden. You're not football players. Plays like don't do Madden, Madden plays. Make sh- the, all the quarterback has to do is make sure he gets the ball into somebody's hands, past yeah. the line of scrimmage. If it's one yard, two yards, it doesn't matter. Let the guy with the ball run afterwards. And next thing you know, in Division E, guys are going to miss flags. They're going to miss yeah. tackles. Once you miss one, you turn the corner on somebody, you're going to be able to get six, seven yards before you meet someone else. You're going to get big chunk of yardage every single time, and suddenly your offense sort of gets going, and it's more fun. And you get to see, oh, this is what it means to score. But if you're trying to score by throwing 25 yards down the field, it won't work. And that's the thing is, if you just keep yourself on the field, you'll be more competitive in games. You know, and, and that's that's something I think I think. Even if you're learn. able to drive the field and you get the red zone, you can't score in the red zone. <laughs> but you still went, you know, 
four or five plays, got to the red zone, it's encouraging, right? In this case, if you go six for 23, it's tough. Yeah. Los Bandidos, they went big over Prospect Squad. It's a good, it's a good season to be Los Bandidos. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, they, they were one of my favorites coming into the season. They're a strong team. I watched that game, too. Uh, also, they mi- they were missing one of their top guys, uh, Loic Savoy. He was not there. Again, yeah. He missed a few games. This yeah, season, he was not there. He's usually the chunk of. He's usually what they do offensively, but they adjusted. Well, but Vincent Benjamin is there. Yeah, Vincent Benjamin so is the best player. And Julian Wilson, Wilson. likely the best player in the division. Julian yeah. Wilson's there too. Yeah, they also have Julian Wilson. Julian Wilson, and they added a, a low key a- addition for them. Uh, or not a low key addition, but like a, a low key contributor who's been there for a few seasons is Felix Prou. Yeah, snap. Who he safety blanket always finds always opening. there, and he makes key contributions every game. He does. He, he's not a guy who's going to have 50 catches in a season. No, no. But it's when when but uh, Francis Derache is looking for a guy and yeah, he's, he's scrambling the around. He's the guy. You know, he connects with him and then he makes people miss. He's quick. He's pretty quick. Uh, yeah, he has simple routes, but like you know, like like Simon just said, people in E they tend to miss tackles. And all that, so they take advantage of that. But usually, Felix Prue is just uh, the kind of guy he goes to if he has no one else. Yeah. His first read is usually Vincent Benjamin. Well, to be fair. To be fair, Vincent Benjamin is a great wide receiver. Then I, Julian Wilson's not that bad either. Uh, no. you, got, you got two solid right. players right there. But when those guys are covered, then he, he, he tends to look at Felix Prue and always finds an opening in the but defense. <coughs> Francis Delaché is a lot more comfortable now than he was yeah. like two years ago when he first started. You could see the difference as a he, he used quarterback. To play, the best way to describe his play before was hectic. Like He was just always running, always looking to yeah. beat the rusher, always looking to, to throw on a run. Um, and he still has a little bit of that in him. But I feel like for him, there's and an, an maybe he's got closer unlocking it. I don't know if he's unlocked it. I'm going to see them up close this week. I play, uh, I'll be playing Los okay. Bandidos this week. Um I'm going to, wherever based on Benjamin, he, sh- he should just, on defense, should just sit, if he sits down on the field, I'm still not throwing. Them. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, wherever yeah. you are, bro, you, you're, the ball's not going yeah. to you. <laughs> just so, so you're you know. going to be super bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what you're telling is don't play corner, because if you, even if he plays inside, you're not going to throw that way. Anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. He, he will literally take away half of the field for me. Um, okay, so let me, let me ask you a question yeah. about Lionheart against Rossas. Okay. Lionheart's I was getting to a point, though. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Get to your point. So the thing, I- the thing is with with uh, with Los Bandidos is, I uh, now I forgot my point. No, wait, wait, so that's it. So like, he's gonna reach a point where the athleticism and the ability to throw and run, um, if you can use that to create new throwing windows, uh, not necessarily to run, not necessarily to buy time, but just change the angle, get away from the rusher, and and create new a- new angles and new throwing windows that you didn't have access to if you just in the pocket. Uh, he's going to be excellent. And I think he's on his way to getting there. Tell me about Lionhearts. Okay, so <clears throat> I watched Lionhearts two weeks ago. I'm looking at this score sheet right here, Lionhearts Rossos, mm-hmm. 32-6. So uh, on paper, this looks good, right? Thir- they won 32-6, the dominant win for Lionhearts. When you actually break it down, there's only eight completions for Lionhearts. Uh, and uh, like you want 15 yards like per completion, basically. So again, Emilio Greco was basically just chucking it deep and hoping his guys catches it instead of somebody else. So there's five of this those eight were touchdowns. The guy the guy yeah, there's five touchdowns. The guy to note in this game is actually Chris Rose. Chris Rose is a phenomenal receiver. He's the best player. Chris Rose wins jump balls because he's the biggest dude on the field. Yeah. And like he's not afraid of jumping for ball and like hitting somebody in the in air and stuff the like that. The innocence right? of youth. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. He's not afraid he of He also knows he's a big dude, so it yeah. doesn't matter to him. Well but that's again that's a division E thing where like, yeah, yeah. you're usually going to be so the best athlete in the field. So, Lionheart defense isn't terrible. Like, they've been they've been getting stops, and they're, they're able to sort of disrupt what your team is doing, and they got some good athletes, and they're able to do things. Problem is, offensively, the playbook remains... Okay, so they always do this play, which I'm going to reveal now. On Kay. first down, the, ru- the, r- the QB runs to his left side every first play. Consistently, all the time. So if you know, it's not going to work. Like yeah. it's very easy to counter, right? I was w- I was watching the game uh, with Jeremy White, the quarterback for EZW. He was scorekeeping, and that's the first thing he told me. Like it's so it's been three for three first downs. He's been running to his left side every single time, and we watched the rest of the game, and he did it like seven times. Yeah. I mean, it could work if like it's a design run, but at some point, go right instead of the left, or like just mix it up a little bit. The problem is he's looking to run first, beat the rusher second. And then maybe just chuck it up to thing, somebody. Eagle and I worked with Lionhearts last season. We gave them some plays. The thing is, is that 
like with anything, weeds take time to develop, and you need you need to give it. You need to have patience to to work through the, through plays, um, to be like, oh, okay, that's how that works. Oh, against yes. this defense, that's what it looks like. Whereas if you just run it once, like, oh, it doesn't work, and then I'm go back to running. It may work against a team like Rasos, who's been struggling, and and even Desjardins and struggling to move the ball, but it won't work when you play the better teams in the division. Running's good, and I like the fact that Emil Greco has that in his back pocket that he's able to run. He's a fa- he's fast. It says he has one run for seven yards in this game, though. But he could have been tackled or sacked, or you know, doesn't mean you're running for positive yards. But he also only had eight completions, zero sacks. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that was the other game. That was not this week. Yeah, the one he, he kept this running. one he was just put, putting up another acquisition, by the way. A guy who uh, played in uh, Montreal Football League, Carmelo Bruna, very good player. N- not known in FPF circles, but very, very good player as well. But th- I think it's just a matter of like Lionheart's half potential. They got good receivers. They got good players all around. Their defense isn't bad, but they'll need to develop to more than just chucking the ball deep and hoping it works. Yeah, that's true. And you know that's the thing is we talk about that's the thing new teams tend to do in FPF is always yeah. like to go deep. Uh, Trojans lose to Thundercats stuff, forty to twenty six. I believe that was another one you were at. Yeah, right? I watched that game. Uh, Thundercats, uh, they surprised me this week, to be honest. I always thought, that th- I didn't think that they would win this week, but uh, they were able to stop uh, Fafar from uh, doing what he usually does, which is run. So he still ran, yes, but uh, they, they were able to keep him behind and have him for- throw off his back foot. So it created incompletions and mistakes, and they took advantage of that. They kept their offense simple. Uh, they, had, uh, they had very good play calling. Uh, they spread the ball well. And uh, they they he, they did what they had to do to win this game. I was very impressed with the Thundercats performance this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Um, Feeds of White got their first win this week. Who? I know you don't like to talk. The Feeds of White, your team. Yeah, I know you don't like to talk about your own team. It was so it was ugly. Um, we started up six nothing because yep. uh, the team was late. Okay. I like we were joking around that uh, perhaps they were. Enjoying sexual activity in the locker room oh, okay. with uh, companions, okay, uh, together, um, and that's why they were late. So, so uh, if but they were, I think they so thought the game was at nine thirty. If they weren't late, or ten thirty, whatever time the game was at, yeah, instead yeah. of fifteen, they thought it was at thirty. S- so, if they would have been on time, you would have lost. Yes and no. Uh, here's the thing. But to be honest, the biggest issue with Fizerwa and that game was we played when they were not there. We played awful. Okay. Because like we just like oh this is gonna be easy. I threw an interception against four people. <laughs> the guy made a ridiculous. I gotta give credit. Can you scroll down, Eagle? I want to see the guy's name. Uh, Carter Corden. That's a cool name. <laughs> that's, <laughs> great. that's a great Carter name. Condon. Carter. I mean that's still fine. So cool. Condon is better. It's still cool. Carter. Condon. So it, like, I I kind of floated the ball because like he, my guy's wide open, but he like ran to the back of the end zone, jumped, picked off on one hand. They're all right. Okay. It's, it's kind of dirty. That's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, that said, like, <laughs> the thing about this game, we scored to go up with two plays left. Okay. And then allowed a deep touchdown on one play to give them a chance to tie it with a two point convert. Ooh, Ooh interesting. The uh, first play of the game, first play of the game, they were five. Remember this. They Look were at five. That sportsmanship, giving them a chance to win. Yeah. <laughs> they were Not a tie. They were five players. And um, the quarterback, uh, Jacob Souls, ran for like 35 yards. Oh. And when there were five plays. Like, just everything was bad. <laughs> I wasn't great. Receivers weren't great. So but second half, second half, like, when they, were, when they were six, we started playing better. They started playing better. There was a questionable call that I got to say we got the benefit of. There was a deep end across the field where there wasn't a ton of contact. And it was called defensive pass interference. We're the beneficiaries. We scored next play. So, like... Whatever it is, it's yeah, the way it, it goes, you know. Like you didn't choose the call. Huh? Yeah, Eagle, you played these guys two weeks ago. Believe yeah. the hype? Is there like, do you believe the hype? Uh, I do not believe the hype because their playbook is one dimensional. Yeah, it's, it's deep balls, deep balls, and, and deep runs. balls and roll th- rollouts. Yeah, I feel like that's like seventy percent of teams at Divi. Yeah, because it looks good. 
It does. If that's it works, what, though. All these young yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. If it works. But all yeah. these young guys that come in and they think that they could chuck up 40 yards all the time, you know? Yeah. And, you know, it, it's it's tough, you know? Like, it's small field, so, like, you got to get rid of that ball and make your receiver run into it. You can't wait for the guy to get 35 yards on the field. But the thing is, if you're going to throw deep, you need to throw deep. Yeah, like, you snap yeah. it, and then the ball's already in the air going 40 yards deep, and your guys to, like, catch up to it, kind of. Is yeah. Go about that. But Even like, though, like, granted, they killed us in that game. I think the final score was, like, 31 12 or something. Yeah, um, we're, we're not saying that we all also believe in light w- in uh, lockdown. lockdown in lockdown no, no we exactly. don't <laughs> but <laughs> lockdown does not lock down there's no hype and we don't believe the, in lockdown. the way i look at it is their touchdowns were not earned their touchdowns were given by our defense right but there was blatant holes that they took advantage of and good for them don't you call but it defense? if anyone <laughs> but if anyone actually is playing a competent defense you don't have a chance is the way I look at it. You know, after hearing these two stories from Pease and Eagle, does, does Mountain Goats really want you guys to, like, help them? You throw a pick <laughs> to four or four people. Hey. He, he, ha- he, he always fucks up the calls on defense. Like, it's not, it's it's not, not it's the not calls. Good, it's it's when people don't uh, listen to the calls. The it's when, the when your middle linebacker is suddenly on the left side of the field and there's a hole the size of the Red <laughs> Sea in the middle of the field. Well, because the problem with lockdown is they lost the lock part. So they're just down. <laughs> down. They're, they're just, just down. down. They're just down. Yeah, they're just down. They're just down. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, it, and like I will give credit to to lot, like the guys from Fizuwa. They, they're not. It's not my team. It's a team I joined. Yeah. Uh, you're the quarterback, but you're not captain. Yeah, no, it's a Simo Blaze team. Uh, uh, sorry, Alexander Blaze team. Simo Blaze is a guy I played with six years ago. Yeah. Uh, Alex, uh, it's Alex Blaze team. But like guys like Alexander Newman, Emil Demers, they're not guys who've played FPF before, and, and they. They're, they're learning to become big contributors on the team. So that's that's cool for them. Honestly, really happy to be working with them. Really, really good guys. I got to meet Posey Boys, and I'm very disappointed. Why? A dude from Posey Boys. Never I, meet I, don't your hero. I didn't catch his name, unfortunately. Oh, the Never ones that hate you? Meet yeah. Your heroes, peace. Never meet your enemies, either. Never meet I was, anybody. I meeting was people is the worst thing so you we're could gonna have, do. We're gonna have We're going to have a, a bit called the Gutless Player of the Week. Okay. Peace Gutless Player of the Week. And every week, I was just going to name a player of Bozy Boys. Okay. Boys and, make f- and, and hammer them for being gutless and, okay. and for being cowards. But. The vision. but th- I met him and he's nice. <laughs> like, like it's kind of nice. hard. It's kind of hard to be mean. Who's this? A, I don't, I don't, I, I, like, I, I either didn't catch the guy's name or didn't hear him when he said his name. Um, boys, boys. So I apologize. Um, Should we go through the pictures and find him? I tried. Yeah, I tried. Look at the team picture. Which I one was he? I don't think it was, it was a dude with glasses. That does not help. What's no, because right? none of them are wearing glasses. I think I was there on that field, no? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, while well, it's popping okay. So, just to say, um, yeah. I, I met, and, and, and thing, like, I, I told him, like, look, pull the hand of veil for a second. What we do here is half uh, sports podcast, half impromptu sitcom. Of course. And so, impromptu. I like uh, that word. So, we decided we were going to hate on your team. Um, just because you're supposed to be good. That's just because. Um, but, yeah, so... Don't worry about it. We, we're just scooting around. We're having a good time. Uh, I hate that you know that now. So you got scared? Uh, no, we're not scared. It's just like the, there's scared. no point now. It's <laughs> you realize <laughs> the more Facebook, um, the YouTube comments we get, the better uh, revenue we actually generate off YouTube, yeah. right? So you're purposely pushing away comments that would drive I money know. to you. But Find your pieces of garbage. They're living human pieces <sighs> yes. of garbage. I mean, look at them. They look. They all look, they look equally literally. terrible. No, Honestly. They, they look gassed. Why does the guy have a backpack? Like, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, where are you going? That's where are you going? Are you no, that's amazing. Are you, are you going, going camping? camping? If, hey, you, hey. if you look at the top, the, the four guys are standing up. They look gassed. But the, three, the four guys underneath look like they just walked out of the shower. They look fresh. Well, so, so, like, what ha- so what happened? So only half was the team this was working. Was this picture taken before or after? <laughs> the guys, the guys standing up were like, yo, if we kneel down, we're not standing up again. We're tired. Because this looks like it was taken after the game. Maybe it's Photoshop. It's half half. Well, also, Whoa. two guys are wearing sleeveless, right? And like the, the basketball style jerseys. And the other guys have t-shirts. So there was some disagreement on the team. Maybe a little internal conflict mm. when it came on to the sleeves, jersey selection. Really guy? You heard it here first. By week 10... Boise boys will have broken up <laughs> because they couldn't decide what jersey sleeves or no sleeves. Sleeve gate right here. Sleeve, sleeve gate. gate right. You heard boys, it here first. The worst part is Boise boys sounds too much like a boys band. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, it, it really you know what? Work. They honestly look like a younger version of Imagine Dragons. Of Imagine Dragons. Yeah, yeah I don't know like what Imagine nine, Dragons. They're like nine people in one. Eagle, can you put Imagine Dragons on the screen? I mean, there's women in it. But put them right next to this picture. We they need to look. The same. They need to know. They need. They to need like, to learn they today. Guts, they got to know. They have the numbers at least. I can tell you that much. Yeah. So uh, they have an e- they have an experienced quarterback. We've talked about all well, season long. no, an exper- well, wait, I'm not talking talented. about that though. Okay, I'm using it as a transition. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna start screaming transition. <laughs> that is it. the best way to do it. Transition. 
Um, but let's talk about some of the new quarterbacks uh, in this division. We talked about Etienne uh, Brisson, Los Siete Amigos, Xavier Tardif of Thundercats, Nicky Papich of Mambo. Anyone else you've seen? These are just some names I'm throwing out. Who are some of the guys you've seen and what any impressions you have? Okay, so I've seen first time Nicky Papich from Mambo. Right, he plays with guys who've been successful quarterbacks in FPF. On the team itself, he's the he plays he's the new quarterback, but he plays with guys who played quarterback before. So you would assume they would tell him what to do and how to do it and how to be successful. Either he's very stubborn or poorly coached. So I realized something in in, in the time of helps teams and help quarterbacks. Yes. I realized if you just give people a play, they then don't know how to read it and it doesn't it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. You can see it. The top four guys, especially. Look. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's I almost know. like maybe maybe if the two that, guys are the right one, side. Now one guy's got to lose all his hair really quickly. <laughs> yeah, but it's not far. <laughs> Eagle, <laughs> find, a name, find a name of the guy who's going to lose his hair oh and send him boy. a message. <laughs> <laughs> Shave your head, guy. I need to be right on this comparison. Um, so That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> dying um please don't I, i'm trying not i'm very i'm fighting very no hard medical not. bills are very expensive um well i mean don't we have free health care who says everyone that's what they want <laughs> everyone that's what they want you to think because it's true it's alessio muro you alessio muro you need to lose your hair bro <laughs> get rid of it it's not helping you <laughs> he looks it's not helping he you looks 17 he, well listen it happens at uh, different ages for everyone sorry, imagine dragons imagine <laughs> not having hair because that's what we just did on oh the FBF podcast, I'm calling the audible. Fantastic. So quickly, because running out of time. There he is. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, he doesn't have that much hair, though. Yeah, he, it's all, he's on his way. He's, he's on his there, way. You know, give him one more year, he's going to be the exact same one. Go. Quarterbacks, new quarterbacks. Thoughts? I just, we just did, and then you said, said the problem is if you give them a one play, it doesn't. Yeah, they work. like they don't necessarily know how to read it. So yep. you need to like if you're helping dudes out, you need to actually explain the reason, yep. not just draw the plays for them. I I forgot the list of names. Pick one. But I don't if know only you had it, a script in front of you. It's in Bixon's playing really well. Uh, is that your Tardif? Thundercats? Eh, not really. <laughs> okay. That's in Brisson, Los Siete Amigos. Well, see, he has played. He, he but no, but he hasn't played quarterback before. Well, it, because the way they usually start their offense, they usually switch between him and Fafar. They they did when they started. That's true. When he they did, started, he did play they, some were always, they yeah. were always, he did play some quarterback. So he had a bit of experience. Now they're not on the same team. So he, he wants to be full-time quarterback. But and uh, that's why they broke up. That's why they broke up. Not unlike the future Bozy Boys and also Imagine Dragons. Did you know, man? Imagine Dragons. Looks like they're going to break up. You heard it here first. Yeah. Call on the audible. Call on the audible. Breaking all sorts of fake news. Yeah. But it's Imbrick Sauce playing well, though. He is yeah. playing well. The guy, I am not a fan of the whole like running schemes, but it's successful for him. He's fast. He's more. He's usually faster than the rusher, mm-hmm. so it works. And he's able to throw on the run well. Also, they have, also, they have the best rusher, too, which isn't fair. Yeah. In yeah. Felix Dao. Felix Dao is disgusting. Yeah, yeah it's foolish. He's also like, crazy tall. Yeah, he needs like to if be... You, if you look at the team pictures or just his picture, he looks like he's 5'2". You see him on the field, guy's it, jacked. And like insanely long win- wingspan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he, he needs to be in Division One stats. I don't he's know why. Like, there he's was a message. Good. Ken White was saying, oh, I'm looking for a rusher. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. This guy is <laughs> very good. Um. So, yeah. So, that's, that's it for uh, the quarterbacks. Eagle, what time is it? I believe it's time for the games of the week. Yeah. Interesting. This, uh, I will not pick games. They'll appear in uh, Mark Andre's article. This time they will. Um, oh, so what happened? Yeah, what happened is uh, if you can afford a wedding planner, pay for a wedding planner. <laughs> because? Because it eats up all of your time. It's the I worst. mean, it, it's sort of what the job description is. A wedding planner, just have time. Yes. <laughs> but if you don't, if you're a normal person... Who doesn't do that for a living? It's awful. It's of the worst. Course. It's because you're basically doing two people's jobs. Yeah, like I'm very, uh, I, I'm very excited to be married. I can't wait, I for the planning of this. T- I want it to be done. I no longer want to get married. I want to be married. Shouldn't it be done like soon? Yeah, d- it's considering your wedding. I mean, but this is the worst part, though. This is the worst part. I mean, there's days left. All right, there we got honor game versus blackouts. Honor game, uh, quarterback by Dave Dau. Blackouts, young, exciting team. A uh, lot of speed, a lot of energy. Honor game got slapped last week. Eh? Yeah, they did. Bad. They did. Yeah, they didn't play well. Uh, uh, give me honor game, though. They're yeah, honor game's going to bounce back on this game. Mambo versus Clinkers. 
Mamba, we talked about the play of uh, Nicky Papich going against one of the better schematic quarterbacks in division in Marc-Andre Desaunier. No, give me clinkers on this game. Uh, I'm going to go clink. I'm, it's going to be ugly. Uh, Mambo has a really good roster, but their offense just isn't working yet. Give me clinkers. Replacements versus Mountain Goats. Will this be win number one? No. I say replacements win, but it's going to be like 12-6. Oh. That's, the, that's the way replacements win that's probably Yeah, uh, replacements <laughs> has a good defense. Mountain Goats' offense is going to continue to struggle. Um, Canes versus Bud Knights. Canes have been struggling a lot. They, they, they're another team we got to make time for Eagle. Um, and then they go up against the Bud Knights. Knights. Bud Knights. Bud Knights. Best, Best defense, defense in the history of, of the Best defense. Matthew Kelgen, only three interceptions so far this season, playing very well. Yeah, Bud Knights are going to win. Yeah, 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 the defense is just going to stop Canes from doing dilly it. Dilly dilly. Jean Guy versus Tough Lungs. Hey, you know how this is going. No, I, I disagree 100%. Uh, no, nope, give me Jean-Guy to go 4-1. You know why? Rush is going to get into Matthew Lerner's head. Oh, I thought you he's were going like, to play terribly. I thought you were going to give Justin Lerner so many goes in Division C that he's going to be so exhausted. That he get, no, no, he, he's he going to come back to the Division C game. He's going to complain about his brother. He's like, oh, he keeps making the same mistakes, bro. I don't understand. Does yeah. he sound like that? Eh, not, not really. really. Not eh, really. A little bit. I mean, you, you know. I never yeah, heard that's him. what I'm saying. He doesn't I really sound I never like heard him drag the word bro. Yeah. Or yeah, say the word, or say the word, bro. This we might not use, bro. He's more of a man guy, more man than or bro. Or bud. No, he's probably a bud. No, guy. he's not a bud guy. He's not a bud he's guy. He's a man, man guy, man, man guy. guy or dude. Dude, dude. just a learner, yeah, man he's guy. A dude guy. He's a just dude a dude learner, guy. dude guy. He's a dude guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's boy. it. Yep. Final thoughts. I'm O'Kain. I know nothing about cricket. About cricket. Cricket. You can't say that. Cricket. Beat him. Yes. He was so mad. My name is Stefano, and I need a. This isn't the introductions. Just well, go to Stephen Alberico. He said, here. What? Stephen Alberico. Stephen Alberico is a dentist. He is. I did not know that. No, well, you why don't didn't now. you tell me this guy? The I didn't guy, think I you needed someone to look at your teeth. Yeah, well. fair, you never said you needed a dentist. Oh, now I did. I would, final thoughts. I would go with Mokan to the insectarium, but they're closed for renovations. They're running out of insects? Oh, okay. It's clever. They teach him about crickets. Oh, oh wow. If you have to explain it, it sucks! Also, I wasn't listening to you guys. <laughs> like, I had no point to that. Because you mentioned I just heard the word insectarium. I said cricket, and like, well, you're allowed because you beat Is the him, insectarium so you actually do. closed? Thank you, guys. Is the insectarium actually closed? Yes. Wow, how would you know that? You're a smart guy. You Thank know. you, Stefano. Thank, Thank you, Simo. Thank you, Eagle. Thank you all for letting me be myself.